and welcome to another installment of Badminton Unlimited. Coming up in the next 30 minutes, former world number one Kidambi Shrikant opens up about his resurgent form of late. I uh, personally think that you know the, the more matches I play, the, the better I get. And laugh out loud with Denmark's Mike and Trugard and Sarah Thusen, who took our fun quiz. Me. Mm. <laughs> In less than seven months, badminton fans are once again treated to the world's best team championships this week, the Total Energies BWF Thomas and Uber Cup Finals 2022. The biennial competitions, previously held last October due to a COVID-19 caused postponement, kicked off on May the 8th in Thailand. Bangkok was also the host of the 2018 edition, and with a strong lineup this year, the home team is looking for another monumental performance in front of its fans. Women singer and women double is quite competitive, and uh, to compare to China and Japan and Korea, maybe we can have a big challenge for them. But the day by day, we're gonna step by step from uh, from beginning. I gonna we gonna do our best each match. Everyone. Uh, try to doing everything together and when I play in our home home crowd here it makes me like feel very good and I think if the good thing will come in for us. Last time I'm not uh, quite confident in myself to be in the team maybe I am the fourth uh, player in the team and maybe a bit not confident but now I think I can better and can present Thailand in a good performance. For the other 18 members associations, there's no doubt Team Glory will once again take precedence over individual honours. I think the main thing is to be able to focus on the team and to make the best of the team and to make the best of the team. 지금 어, 좀 어려운 질문인데 지금 이제 뭐 밖으로는 지금 승찬이 소희조, 희용이 소영이조가 있는데 지금 밑에 후배들이 지금 많이 올라오고 있어서 어, 연습할 때는 또 이겼다 졌다 하고 있어서 뭐 객관적인 랭킹은 그 친구들이 앞서지만 어, 저희들은 이제 이 밑에 있는 친구들이 좀 많이 지금 올라와서. 조금 이제 경쟁 구도로 지금 시키는 거 있거든요. 그래서 뭐 어디가 낫다라고 이렇게 판단하기에는 좀 어려울 것 같아요. 또 언니들이 좀 부상도 있고 하니까 밑에 선수들이 많이 지금 올라오고 있, 있어요. 우리는 이제서 정상 령장타이, 저서 총총 총리인 타이시마. 그리고 우리는 한 희망 넌 취한 메이저 그 영유. 但是也要从你看小组赛第一天一场一场打起，我会和我队友一场一场去把把把胜利拼下来。首先，我觉得不管任何时候，我们的只有一个目标就是呃拿冠军，只是说中间可能过程会比较困难，但我相信我们整个男团的呃整个团体的队友都会朝着这一方向努力吧。不管最后结果如何，我们都会把自己做好。I think everyone is in a good shape. Like Lakshi did pretty well in All England, and Shrikant did pretty good in the previous matches, and we are playing good. And Dhruva Jhana is doing well, and third singles Pranay did pretty good in the Swiss Open. So I think all round it was like good team, but compared to other teams, they are also good. So we shouldn't take it like poor confident thing, but we wanted to do well and uh, see what will happen. We have a very good form, especially in uh, both our doubles pair. We just get into semi and semi final in the last tournament, so. Uh, of course, I think hopefully we can maintain this performance and uh, to the to the Thomas Cup as well. Of course, all of us hope that we can deliver a uh, a bit of a, a miracle and, uh, and and clean the goal. But we'll see. We'll we'll start with the group matches. Take it from there. The Uber Cup champions will be crowned on May 14th, with the Thomas Cup winners determined the following day. Make sure to watch the live matches or catch up with the latest on BWF's social media platforms. It's a it's a decent year because of the way it ended. <laughs> Otherwise, it would have been a disappointing year. <laughs> For Kidambi Srikanth, 2021 had all the thrills of a roller coaster ride from 
The tens to the heart-stopping and the exhilarating moments all bundled in 12 months. But as the popular saying goes in sports, you're only as good as your last game. It was important for the Indian shuttler to end on a high. Here, the 29-year-old reflects on the year gone by and the lessons learned. Yeah, things were uh, uh, not so great for me. Uh, first with the Olympic qualification. I didn't really go the way I wanted. Uh, tournaments got cancelled, I couldn't really play tournaments. You know. Yeah, it was, it was a little uh, disappointing. Uh, but again, very happy with the way uh, the 2021 ended for me. You know. uh, just happy, at least there's uh, some positive out of everything that has happened. Uh, that whole uh, nine, ten tournaments that happened uh, during the end of 2021, I was uh, uh, I was at least happy that uh, I'm getting to play some tournaments because I've only been uh, uh, you know practicing, thinking there'll be tournaments, and then when the, the moment I get to know that there are no more tournaments, and then I'm kind of a little disappointed, and then I'm not training, and then. I'm again starting thinking there'll be tournaments and then, you know, it happened, uh, you know, two or three times in the two years and then uh, at last I was just happy to be uh, uh, be back on the circuit. Also because of the, uh, uh, you know, also because of the injuries that I had in 2019, you know, I couldn't really play too many tournaments in 2019 as well. Uh, the moment I uh, felt like I'm actually getting back, this whole COVID situation happened, so it was, more desperate to play tournaments. Me, you know, I always, uh, uh, I, I, I uh, personally think that you know the the more matches I play, the, the better I get. So if I, if I, so if I, if you actually see uh, the way I played at the Sudirman to the way I played at the uh, World Championship, there's a lot of difference. I've, I've, I've only been playing tournaments. I haven't really had enough time to practice, but but I was only playing tournaments, and I uh, kind of did improve a lot. And, and I could see uh, myself getting better, you know, from Sudirman to Thomas Cup, then to Denmark Open, then to Paris, you know, then to Germany, you know, I, I could see myself getting better. So I just wanted uh, to keep playing and, you know, I, I have to play tournaments uh, to get that feel. And uh, I think that 7-8 uh, tournaments really helped, you know, that Sudirman where I played more matches, again Thomas Cup, I played more matches. And again, uh, Denmark Open, I had two good matches, and then at Paris, you know, I, I, I again had the chance to win against Momota, but then I again messed it up in the end. So, so yeah, these are the little uh, things that I think, uh, you know, all of them came together by German Open, uh, where I had, uh, you know, I played some very good matches, some close wins, and I think those wins really gave me that confidence. Kidambi Srikant reached back-to-back -back semi-finals at the Hilo Open and the Indonesia Masters, defeating higher-ranked players en route. Those were the first signs of the Indian finding its form and feel for the game, which eventually culminated in a silver medal finish at the Total Energies BWF World Championships 2021.
match against Enkelong. It was a very uh, tough one, a very long one. But uh, you know, but 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 I I was able to pull that off. You know, in the past, you know, before that, you know, in Paris or in Denmark again against Momota, you know, I couldn't really finish off matches. But there, you know, I was able to pull it off, finish it off. So I think uh, that is what uh, I was, uh, you know, I was thinking about, or what I I want myself to do, you know, very consistently. And I think that particular win did really give me uh, a lot of confidence. And again, at the semi-final, I again had my chances. It was a very close one. I was leading, uh, but again, I think uh, those are the situations that I'll be in, you know, going forward even from now. So I really want to. convert those close matches to wins that is what uh, i'm really thinking about but uh, for that to happen i really have to play more tournaments and understand and get that feel of it again you know it, it, it was a it was a long one it was a very close uh, third set uh, all all i was thinking about us to apply myself you know be there in the tournament you know through in in that match throughout you know i didn't really want to because i i gave him too much lead in the first set and then i was i wasn't really able to uh you know cover it but in the third set i just wanted to be there i uh, i didn't want to give him any lead you know and uh, i think it really helped uh, and also i think the my performance at the german open kind of really gave that gave me that confidence and uh, yeah everything just added up After this short break, Kidambi Srikanth returns to share his thoughts about that amazing feat in Huelva. You know, I didn't know that I, uh, you know, after that when I became the first Indian to reach the final, I didn't know that. He's done it. An hour and eight minutes. He sinks to his knees. 21-17 in the deciding game. Kadambi Shrikanth is in the World Championship final. What a very special moment. Welcome back. At the Total Energies BWF World Championships 2021 in Spain, Kadambi Shrikanth defied the odds to reach the final. becoming the first Indian men's singles player in history to do so and to think that just days before the tournament the then world number 14's participation in Huelva was in jeopardy so firstly i uh, i i wasn't sure if i'll get my visa <laughs> and i got it in the very last minute and uh, i played my first match in less than 24 hours after i reached huelva <laughs> so it was it was it was kind of uh, what's the story what happened uh so uh, so uh, so uh, after the world 2 final i uh, know after i went back to india i applied for it and then there were uh, there was some uh, holidays 
during that week <laughs> and then they couldn't really do it <laughs> and then uh, you know thanks to my association and government i think they've really worked hard <laughs> I think they kind of got it uh, I think in two working days or something. <laughs> <laughs> Frankly two days three days before you know I left you know I wasn't really thinking too much about the world championships all I was thinking about my visa process. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't have too much in mind so I think uh, I I I feel in a way that really helped because I didn't have too many uh, things or too many tension too much tension about uh, how I'm going to perform. so for me after i went there nobody was expecting anything because i was, i i just reached and then you know with all that uh, testing and then everything i didn't really get to practice in the main hall so i had to directly play my match <laughs> and all i was thinking about us to just uh, uh, try and play you know just play that's it you know i didn't really have anything in my mind world champions is a very big event you know for you to uh, you know reach uh, quarters semis or finals you really have to you know play well and then win some big matches uh, and i think li shi feng uh, did really play well uh, you know i lost the first set i was uh, you know i came back uh, and i think that win did really give me a lot of confidence and then the next match against lu gongzu i think uh, it was a straight set to win so i think that three set did really give me a lot of confidence because i uh, uh physically i was there but mentally i was still uh, figuring out you know about everything that is happening around me and i think that win did really give me a lot of confidence and then uh, and then and then yeah it's totally again it's totally everything just added up uh the next match against mark I know he was he was playing really well during that tournament and and he, again last year he did really well he played semi final of all England and then he did uh, well at the Olympics. Uh, you know he he was actually doing well at the major events uh, in 2021. So uh, for me uh, to win against him, uh, you know in a straight sets in that fashion, I think uh, it did really it did really give me a lot of confidence. And again semi final when you are playing against. Uh, a fellow fellow countryman i think it's uh, a little difficult as always you know be it first round semi final final whatever just happy to be able to pull that close match because you know uh, that is what i always wanted to you know i really want to pull out those close matches and i'm just extremely happy the delight for kidami my goodness he had to work hard for that he had to control the nerves Firstly I didn't know about uh, all the facts you know I didn't know that I uh, you know after that when I became the first Indian to reach up and I didn't know that so I didn't I didn't actually know anything you know I uh, I thought uh, Prakash sir uh, played final or something so I didn't really think uh, that uh, whoever wins that particular match will become the first Indian so I didn't have too many of those things in my head so I think that also kind of really helped uh and again you know because i'm there in spain and i don't use whatsapp and all of that and i'm a little uh outside social media so yeah <laughs> so i uh i i i don't really i didn't really know uh you know what frankly you know everything everything that has happened before uh the tournament did really help because you know after i reached final i didn't really think too much about uh, the end result uh i just wanted to play another match and i'm very, very i'm just very happy to be able to play another match you know firstly because of the way uh of everything that has happened and the way i actually came to uh, spain and then the way i played my first round i was i i was i was just very happy to be able to play another match that's it that's all i was thinking about and then uh when you get on court you know uh, there won't be too many things uh, in my head after i get on court it'll only be about uh, playing well that's it this his first final for 32 months it is over 4 years since he won a title he again i think it, it it is really important for me to close those matches you know be it uh, at the denmark open it was it was i think i was leading 2017 or something paris i was leading 1917 in third uh i think again in german semi final i think i was leading probably 1918 or something both the sets 
and and again there at the world championships I was leading and then again uh, you know these are the things that uh, i think i have to you know kind of really figure out a way to uh, you know win win those close matches consistently because uh, i've been i've been uh, through those situations you know a lot of times in, in the past i was able to <coughs> you know close those matches but again you know it's things have changed you know i feel i really have to figure out a way and again it's really important in such a big events you know these are the situations these are the scenarios that i'm going to be in uh, you know very often so yeah i'm just uh, you know trying to play more and then understand you know, what to do and then probably sit and talk with my coaches and then figure out a plan i feel i'm uh, playing much better than what i was playing in 2017 uh it's just that uh it's just that it's just that the basic level uh the minimum level has uh grown i think everyone's playing really well so it's really important uh to be at my best uh to be there in top 8 or top 4 in the world uh i think i have to be more consistent to be you know more consistently when those you know tough matches I don't really have uh, any targets but uh, you know I'll, I'll just try and take it match by match. Uh and again it's going to be a very important year for me you know having commonwealth games and uh, asian games and then other world championships again. So I think uh, this year I think it is going to be uh, a little better than like last year so just just very happy with the way uh things are happening at the moment just uh I want to play more tournaments and see where I am. <laughs> Sarah can't remember my birthday. I can. We've been playing together now for ten years. So it's <laughs> two years ago. Idea. I started yeah. to learning it. Sarah, I yeah. remember it. When is your birthday? Eleventh <laughs> of May, nineteen ninety-five. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe uh, not lying, but. Uh, Faking it? Um, not telling anything. Everything. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you? <laughs> Maybe me. Yeah. <laughs> me. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely me. <laughs> we have to disagree at some point. <laughs> What is the best piece of advice you give? <laughs> me? Yeah. Sarah, to be patient. <laughs> But she's still not doing it. <laughs> Sarah, on the dance floor. Yeah. <laughs> In the bar, on the dance floor. <laughs> Definitely, Sarah. <laughs> But after one tequila, you are. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Sarah, I'm. A little bit shy. <laughs> I'm a little bit. Sometimes I can be shy, but I think I'm a little bit more open to be stupid. <laughs> a little bit more careless. Yeah, sometimes. Carefree. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely, Sarah. I'm oh, afraid wow. of heights, so yeah, okay. <laughs> that's fair enough. Me for sure. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's when my boyfriend he tries to talk me into buying a robot vacuumer for our apartment at home. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah. <laughs> And I bought it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the silliest. And thing. what you have? What? Does it work? 70. Is it doing its job? It's it's doing its job, but we have a small apartment. <laughs> so <laughs> stupid. Me. Who's the scary cat? I'm scared. <laughs> She's the one who's scared. Look at those arms. <laughs> She's going in front. <laughs> She's my shield. <laughs> That will never happen. <laughs> but 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 I can maybe have two I, days. Yeah. <laughs> I think I will uh, break yeah. Yeah. before you. It itches. Yeah. <laughs> really. It really itches yeah. when you don't wash it. Yeah. <laughs> Join us again next week because you will not want to miss this one. It's all about the best of the action at the Total Energies BWF Thomas and Uber Cup Finals 2022.
Also, a quick reminder to mark July the 5th on your calendar as we will celebrate the very first World Badminton Day. Do check out corporate.bwfbadminton.com to see how you can experience and promote our beloved sport on this special day. Badminton Unlimited, checking out for now. Goodbye.